Put the offer out. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> I totally jumped verses there. <laughs> well, hello everyone. <laughs> Megan here, and I have a special guest. This is my sister Sarah. Hi. <laughs> She's got her own channel called Sarah Hannett, just like my channel is Megan Hannett. Um, and we are also going to be doing a video on her channel, so I will link that below. Go check it out. We'll be talking about the Girls Gang, <laughs> a, a childhood favorite of both of ours. Yes. So today we're going to do a book haul for you. Um, we have a, a bit of a tradition when we see our cousin Naomi, who has her own channel, Naomi's Bookshelf. We go to this particular bookstore and we buy books. So today we did pretty good. We didn't buy too many, but we bought, we had some good finds. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you what we got. So Sarah, would you like to show us your first? Absolutely. And it's actually a used bookstore. So there's a lot of really cool stuff there that we can't really find anywhere else. Yeah. Lots of old so, books. Yeah. And ironically enough, this first one is not actually from the bookstore. This was given to me by Megan for Christmas. <laughs> and it is a Chronicles of Narnia coloring book. So this has all the illustrations from the original books and I'm really excited. It does have a few scenes with some writing and stuff on it as well. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And we should also say our mom gave us these yes. scarves for Christmas <laughs> and you can use them like as a scarf or a shawl yeah. or a blanket or a tablecloth. Mm -hmm. And she also gave us these pajamas with like hot chocolate recipes on them. Mm -hmm. so... Hence why we're dressed the same. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're dressed the same. We don't just dress the same all the time for fun. <laughs> Okay, your turn. <laughs> All right. So, taking a sudden, a, a sudden, a sudden turn to something depressing and sad, I bought Valette by Charlotte Bronte, and this is the book that I was hoping the bookstore would have because I own all the other Bronte books, and um, so I wanted to buy the last Bronte book that I didn't own because I want to read the rest of the Bronte books that I haven't read yet in 2020. So I've read mm -hmm. one from each Bronte. I've re read Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, and I have yet to read Valette, Shirley, the Professor and Agnes Gray. So 2020 will be the year where I do that. And this is the Oxford, or sorry, the Penguin Classic edition. And so they have lots of notes in there. So I'm hoping they'll have notes on all the French that's written there so I can understand it better. And um, lots of notes in the beginning because I, I am thinking this will be a difficult one to get through, that it'll be a chunker and it'll be very sad and depressing and kind of a, a drudge even. I know some people love it, but I don't, I'm not expecting that I'll love it. But there are lots of interesting notes at the beginning, like comparing Valette to her, to Charlotte Bronte's life. So I think that will be interesting and keep me going. So yeah. What next do you have, Sarah? So I'm going to show you three in one for this next one because they're all connected. First up, we have the Artemis Fowl Files. I have a review of this on my channel, actually, but I really, really enjoy this one. I've already read it, but I don't own it, obviously, before now, and it's so much fun. It has two kind of short little novellas in it, and then a bunch of little... Oh, like... no! Is it not filming? No, it is. Oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> the, the numbers were blocked. I couldn't see them, and I was like, something... <laughs> It's not working. Okay, sorry, I totally interrupted you. It's fine. <laughs> so it has two little novellas in it. One takes place before the series. One takes place between the first and second books. And they add some really interesting kind of dimensions to the characters, which mm. I really like. And there's also like interviews with the characters and stuff like that in the middle. So it's a lot of fun. And then the next one is Artemis Fowl, The Lost Colony. This is, I believe, book five in the series. And it's one of my favorites. And the reason why I bought this one specifically is because there's like five or six different cover editions for the Artemis Fowl books. This is the cover edition that I initially listened to the book on audio, in audio form with, if that makes any sense at all. Blah. This one is really nice because it's the first one where we really see the two main characters actually being fully on the same side for the entire book mm. and they work really well together. And then there's also some just interesting expansions to the universe that are really cool. And then the last one in this set is Artemis Fowl, The Last Guardian. Now there's two reasons why I got this one. One, this is the only Artemis Fowl book that I haven't fully read all the way through yet. So mm. I'm working on it and I thought having the physical copy actually in my home at all times would help with that. You can put it in your bin. Yes, yes, it's, it's going to go in my bin. <laughs> <laughs> I have a book bin where all of my currently reading books go into. And she has a video on that and I'll link that below. Thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> yeah. And also the other reason I got this is because this specific cover is my favorite cover uh, for all of the different mm. versions of The Last Guardian. And also they just released a new cover set for the whole series. So this is probably going to start going out of print very, very uh. soon if it isn't already. 
So, oh, my yeah. turn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> so the other book I bought was another edition of Eight Cousins. So normally I don't buy a book that I already own because um, I do already own Eight Cousins by Louisa May Alcott. But I mean, look at that cover. It's I mean, it's okay. I have um, Rose and Bloom in this edition and I really don't like that. It, like, it just looks so <laughs> silly. I don't like it at all. This one's okay though. But... When I saw this old edition in the bookstore, I was like, okay, I want to get that. It's so pretty. It has, like, this, yeah. Yeah, so the, those are the end papers, and then it's got, like, let's see, where's that drawing? It's like this, this charcoal drawing there. It's just, it's really nice, and because of um, a, uh, a year, eh, a year of Louisa May, uh, or Louisa May 2020. Um, of course, I will be reading Eight Cousins again this year, so I was like, I want a pretty edition that I can talk about and show off in my videos instead of this not very great one. So, that was my second book that I bought. Now, I was really shocked when I found this. I don't know if this is the actual original cover or kind of a slightly altered version, but this is the original, or a version of the original cover of The Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson. Yes, sorry. Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief. If you go to pretty much any store, you'll find a different cover that's actually the second popular cover, There's been, but it wasn't mm -hmm. the first cover. The one that made it popular was not the first cover. This was the initial cover, and it did not become a bestseller, actually, until it was redesigned, but this is the only time I've ever seen this cover actually in physical form that wasn't just, like, a print or something. So, yeah, I kind of had to get it. <laughs> I like how the back says, Dear Mortal Reader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the blurb on the front, A Fantastical Blend of Myth and Modern. It's by Owen Colfer, author of Artemis Fowl. Oh. Well, you like both those authors a I lot. Do. And both those series a lot, so that makes sense. I do, yes. <laughs> and then um, I didn't buy any more books, but Sarah did buy more. Yes, this is my last one. And that is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Kane Chronicles trilogy, which does take place in the Percy Jackson universe, but I haven't read it yet. Uh -huh. And I've been meaning to for years. <laughs> so I want to get it and put it in my bin so I will actually pick it up and read it because I'm really curious. I hear a lot of interesting things about it. If you've looked at our thumbnail, you will see that we have Elsa and Anna mugs. Well, they're both... They're, they're identical. Both. <laughs> but... <laughs> but Sarah relates more to Elsa and I relate more to Anna. <laughs> yeah. So. So we have we are drinking from our Elsa and Anna mugs. We saw Frozen Two and absolutely loved it. It's a story about sisters, so of course we loved it. Yeah, and then um, belted out the soundtrack for a good chunk of the drive down. Yeah, we were singing so. the soundtrack. We we started off last night with Sarah softly singing Into the Unknown, and then I softly joined in with her. And then five minutes later, Into the Unknown. And our dad's just sitting in the, in the driver's seat, just kind of, you know, pleasantly ignoring us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that is our little book haul. Um, hopefully it'll work to put in some clips of us in the bookstore that my cousin Elise took of us. <laughs> you can see us two, um, our cousin Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf, and Joelle. Joelle, Elise, and Naomi are all sisters, mm -hmm. and you will have seen them on Naomi's Bookshelf yes. if you watch her channel. So, And I highly recommend you go check out Naomi's channel and Sarah's channel. And um, yeah, we'll be doing our other video over there. So... Mm -hmm. This will be all for now, but may you all be filled with peace, hope, love, and joy. So take care, everyone. Bye.